Welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. Uh, so this reading here is purchased from one of my subscribers and has asked me to post it public for everybody to watch. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Everybody, welcome to my channel. But if you're new to my channel, a little bit about myself, I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant. I love doing relationship readings. The way I do my readings as a clairsentient, I pick up energies from other people, between people what one person feels for another and uh, with that I can feel past present and future I can feel why somebody is angry and I can feel why somebody doesn't want to commit and I can feel what they want to do with that okay so I do celebrity readings when anybody requests one or purchases one and I can do private readings so if anybody out there is interested in purchasing a reading from me I accept PayPal my email will be below. You can contact me. I will get back to you within 24 hours and my turnaround time is seven days. I have two services that I offer. The first one is $65. You can ask as many questions as you like and I will read until I am done. The other reading, uh, the other service that I provide is one question, $25. You get five cards and an energy reading. Okay, so uh, and for the people that keep coming back to my channel, I, I truly appreciate. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I truly, truly appreciate it. I take I take these readings very seriously. I like I've said in some of my other videos that um, uh, what I can say can make a difference in a person's life. Okay. All right. So with that being said, on with the reading. The one question would be, do they have romantic feelings for each other? Yes. I do feel that there is something here. There is a connection between the two of them. And I feel that they are they are the perfect match for each other. I saw a picture of them and automatically my I got a crush feeling. And I got a um, really nice energy between the two of them. Like, I get that she's a strong woman and he's a strong man. She's an Aquarius. Oh, and what was he? Scorpio. So he's, she knows what she wants and he's, a, the Scorpio is very, um, uh, they're very focused and they know what they want and they go after what they want. Um, they're very nice together. I really feel that that there is romantic feelings here. Now, whether they're acting upon it or not, um, I do feel that they may be dating. Let's see what the messages are. Park Young Seek and Han Hyo Ju. What are the messages regarding Park Young Seek and Han Hyo Ju? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about them? What are the energies between them? What are the energies between them? What are the energies, the feelings between them? Okay, all right, here we have Four of Wands, talks about stability. Four of Wands is about um, celebrations, family, wedding. Um, this is stability between the two of them. Four of Wands speaks about establishment, reward, love, friendship. 
really nice friendship between the two of them. This is, I want to say when I look at them, this is both two alpha, alpha personalities. Like when I think about her, I don't get like a young, sweet girl. I get a woman who knows what she wants and she goes after it. I don't feel that she hurts anybody in the meantime, um, getting what she wants. And he likes that she's confident and he's mysterious and he's deep and he can be sensual and she really likes that. He's in control, okay? So this is a very nice uh, um, relationship that is stable, okay? Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles speaks about wealth, happiness, consolidation, family, marriage, it shows, this joyful 10 shows consolidating wealth and sharing love. So the card's meaning include relationship commitment, marriage, wedding gifts, inheritance, strong ties across generations. Okay, we've got here celebrations, wedding. I'm not saying they're going to get married tomorrow, but potentially they're on the path to that. Okay, she's fiery. So here we have a feisty woman. She's self-assured. She's confident. She's the master of her domain. She is not insecure in this relationship, which is really nice to see. And I can feel that. And then we have here the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords speaks about new ideas. This is about um, beginnings, decisions, insights, success, clarity. There's success here between the two of them. There's that new beginning. Um, with determination and clarity of purpose, you get what you want in work, creative projects, and relationships. They're getting what they want in this relationship. Okay? And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. And she is a resourceful woman. She's got many, many domestic skills. I feel that's her. Again, she's um, he sees this in her. He looks up to her. He admires her. Um, she's the same way, but she, he, like, I say this in some of my readings, if you treat her like a queen, she will treat you like a king. He treats her like a queen. Okay. And this talks about affection, love, fertility, abundance. Um, the card signifies fertile ideas, financial support, and can predict love, marriage, and pregnancy. We've got these three cards predicting all of that. So... They could be down the road, you know, um, heading towards wedding, okay, towards marriage. I, I, I like this couple. I really think, I really think that there's a lot of passion here between them.